when you look at the vibration characteristics of tall buildings, of oil platforms, aircraft, there's so many things that wiggle and that wiggling is not good. It's a paradigm shift, it's a slight shift in the way you think. It's a technology that we developed to couple the way fluid and structure interact. We had a, a rocket, the Ares launch vehicle, that had a very significant dynamic issue. And we found a way to use the existing mass in the LOX tank, the weight of the fluid, uh, to mitigate dynamic response of the entire structure. One small device weighing less than 100 pounds on the device itself, less than 200 pounds total impact, was able to mitigate the resonant response of a 650,000 pound launch vehicle. By controlling the way that secondary device controls that fluid, is we can control the primary system. Currently, while a lot of the systems are out there that use fluids, it's all about containing the fluids, and then you set up the frequency of your mitigation based upon your container. The container is what sets the frequency. This is different. Your frequency here is set by the secondary device. Our device is special because it uses the mass that we add either additionally to a structure or with the existing fluid. We use it more efficiently than anybody has ever been able to do before. Anywhere where fluid and structures co currently cohabitate is where you can take advantage of this. Buildings is one place where you've got fluids already in situ inside the building. The aircraft carry their own fluids in your automobile, or you're transporting fluids across country in a tanker truck. Ocean-going vessels, platforms that are floating out there in the ocean. You can, the question is, can you access the fluid that's surrounding you? Not only can you use this technology for existing structures that have problems, but if you employ it from the beginning in the design phase, you can change the attributes of design completely. This is a game changer. We're going to change the way things are designed.